Yo, peoples! Kyushu92 here with yet another iteration of Kyushu Views Anime. Onwards to One Piece episode 939, the long awaited episode that I've been tr waiting to see what they're going to do with in terms of censorship and how they're going to convey this entire episode because of this specific chapter. So let's get it started! <laughs> So in the last episode, yeah, Tono Yasu got imprisoned. And this was met with a lot of surprise from people who know him, and it's and his true identity is enough to send the shivers send the ship send the shivers send the spine of Richie. But seriously, but in all seriousness, it 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 this terrify this terrifies Orochi. Doing everything in her power to get to where Tono Yasu is. Because Tono Yasu's her father. I told you this man's smiling like a D. Why is it every time they do this trope of a person who's having an emotional moment? Hold on. The straw hats run. Save the captive Tono Yasu. But they always do this anime trope where a character is running, they're either crying or whatever. And they end up tripping, and they end up falling on their face, and they stand, and they just lay there. Not saying that it's a bad trope, because when it's done right like this, it, you kind of, kind of feel the, you kind of feel the emotion behind the person, especially if they spent a long time behind with them. But now the funeral's being held for Komurasaki. Of course, all of Wano doesn't know. Boy, I cannot wait to see the downfall of Orochi because every every moment I see his face is just another moment I wish for it to something bad to happen to him. And then we still got Fat Luffy. You know, it took me a couple of seconds to realize that Grandpa Hyu is still fat as well. Cause you know, with the way his face is, it kind of kind of mistake. I kind of couldn't piece together that, you know, he was fat from the red bean suit. So, I almost forgot that he was fat. Just from the way he was drawn there for a moment. But then we have the man of the hour. And he's smiling the whole time. Are you sure Tonoyasu's not a D? And then we got one of the Oni Oni Wabanshu there. What type of wood is that for it not to be breaking when you raise it up? <laughs> Minor thing, but still. Ah, oh, cherry blossoms. One day I hope to actually see a actual cherry blossom tree in person I don't know if they have them anywhere around where I live but I wish to see like an authentic full-grown cherry blossom tree or at least at least one time in my life oh is that the voice of the legendary man himself then I'm trying to remember did we hear his voice already I just, just if we have it's been so long since I heard his voice Ebisu town it's been so long since we heard the voice actor for Odin that I almost forgot what it sounded like. I love how Robin and Nami are embracing their ninja roles and they're just casually running across rooftops. Just like casually Naruto running everywhere. Just. <laughs> like you're using Sanji's on a roof. Sanji, I understand. He's a very airborne type individual. What was that just now? What was the purpose of that ninja back step? Tono Yasu is a fake name. Who is he? Bakura Town in Kuri. And yeah, it looks like Hold'em's back. And there's the giant chicken, the giant roosters from Sekiro. I called them chickens last time, but it was roosters. Maybe if we learn how they tamed them in One Piece, we can actually tame one in the game. So that they, you know, don't try to kill us every time we fight them. See, Kinime knows him. Grandpa Hiyo appears to know him. Inarashi knows him. Who is this mysterious man? Used to be one of the daimyo who served on the Kozuki clan along with Odin. His real name is Shimotsuki Yasuie, the daimyo of Hakumai, Yasu the Hedgehog. He was very austere and never smiled. And him being revealed up there, yeah, people starting to starting to recognize him. Sorry, I'm about to yawn. Oh, it's like 9 a.m. I don't know why I'm yawning. Hakumai. Land of Wano. Shimotsuki Yasuye, later known as Tono Yasu. And see, you, 
You can kind of make... See, here's the thing. You can kind of make him out due to the shading and due to the color of him. So you got you, you kind of get a rough idea of what he kind of looks like. But still, the moment this legend of a man is fully revealed in all his splendor, you got... Mmm, I'm going to stop talking. They're not making it really difficult for us not to try and make out what Odin's face looked like. You would think that they'd keep his face in shadow, but they're, they're, just, they're giving us better... It's really like it's already drawn, but they just they just reduce the contrast and reduce the brightness. So you kind of can still make his face out. I'm pretty sure someone's going to make his face. I mean, we already know what his face looks like. But in the anime, it's it's not like they're trying to hide it all that much. I'm sorry, I'm not talking too much about this one thing, but it's just something I kind of noticed. See, this is the music that pops up when you hear a legend. This music only pops up when a legend is in a scene. And this man is laughing. I want to say one thing to the stupid Orochi. Ooh, you better talk to this man. I like that fade in, fade out transition from his hair. That was very, very smooth. And you still got Toko running. She's kicking up a lot of snow running, ain't she? With Zoro, Brook, and Hiyori right behind her. Just how far is Ringo from the flower capital? It's got to be far, and she's ran all the way there. Yo, this bro just grazed his head. Was that in the chapter? Oh, it's Drake and Basil Hawkins. Such is the fate of your pants. <laughs> when you see all these people. Just running into the main flower capital and you realize that there is quite a lot of people. It's quite a lot of people in Ebisu Town. <laughs> when trained security officers, when trained guards are able to be... Like, look at this! Look at Nami! I'm sorry, when did you have this leg strength to just be jumping across rooftops like a ninja? Do your thing, Robin! Everyone's getting tripped up. See, you're not stopping them. You're not stopping them. Wait, is she dragging them away? Shogun Dono is such an idiot, I feel sorry for his subordinates. Talk to this man, talk to this man! Look at the beautiful flower capital. View of the land of Wano is magnificent. The aesthetic and feel of the scene is so powerful right now. I don't know if it's just me, but it just feels great. You get the sense of majesty when it's told by a person deserving to speak of his beauty. For generations, this scenery was developed by the Kozuki clan and the common people. We take pride in it. No, he ain't talking none of that, Orochi. He's, ta he's speaking the truth. You cannot take the credit for that, you fool. <laughs> this is such a hype moment. Kurozumi Orochi. And there's Toko. She's got to have a lot of stamina to make it all the way into the capital. Do you hear me, Orochi? There used to be immense forests and fields with vegetation. Rivers. Villages. And you are just contaminating them with dirt of greed. You're nothing but vermin! Oh, this feels so good when I remember reading it through this chapter. Talk to this man, Yasuie! Oh, it looks like they got back to the normal size again. This laugh that this man is giving off is so legendary right now. Good lord, this episode got me hype right now. On the next episode, Zoro's Fury, the truth about the smile. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. This is the episode leading up to a very profound moment in the Wano arc. And I gotta say, the way that they're leading up to it is... Very well done. You feel the emotion, especially me, who who is I'm well deep in the middle of Wano right now. But seeing this moment animated, it just brings back the memories that I felt when I was reacting to this chapter when it first released. And seeing Yasuye, which we can now I can now fully say his name now instead of him just being called Tono Yasu or just Yasu Yashimotsuki Yasuye, former daimyo of Hakumai. I can't go too much into his history because there's still more of that story yet to be revealed. But this man is an absolute legend for being brazen enough to speak out against Orochi, who has by far been ruling Wano with an iron fist and, you know, either killing or imprisoning anyone who speaks out against his rule. So for Yasuye to go out of his way to say, 
Dude, you're nothing but vermin. Everything that Wano is was built by the Kozuki clan and the common people. And you're contaminating it with your dirt of greed. You're vermin. You're nothing, you stupid fool. Oh, it's such a legend moment. And every laugh he does in the face of Orochi is so golden. It's like, it's like watching Whitebeard say that One Piece is real during the end of the Marine Fort War and him laughing in the face of the world government because they thought that his death and Ace's death would deter pirates, but it did the exact opposite. And here, they have Orochi trying to put Yasuye up for execution, but it's also having that same opposite effect because now everyone is realizing that, hey, Orochi's a bad dude. And it's all thanks to the common people. Good lord, this was such a good episode. I'm not going to drone on for too long. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. And if you enjoy the content that I do here, then maybe consider subscribing. Because I'm always looking to entertain you guys however I can. And it's always been a dream of mine to entertain hundreds upon thousands of you. And I'm going to keep working towards that dream. So every little bit helps for this channel. And I thank you. But that's only if you found my content worth your time. It, only if you found my content worth your time. Sorry, I was trying to talk and swallow at the same time. My bad. But only if you found the content worth your time. Other than that, hope y'all enjoyed. Can't wait to see you all in my next video. So have a fantastic day. And once again, as always, later, peoples.